All right, so this is number 10 on the Algebra 2 practice test, and it says the fourth term of a sequence is 108. Each term after the first is three times the previous term. Write an explicit function that models the general term of the sequence, f of n. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and put f of n here because I know that that's going to start our function. All right, the second thing is I'm going to look back up here and it says each term after the first is three times. Okay, that means r equals three. That means we have a geometric um, sequence. If it's add or subtracting, it's a common difference and it would be arithmetic. But we know we have a geometric. So go to your formula sheet. Here is the formula for a geometric sequence. And now we're going to use the information that we have to um, write a function for this. All right, so it gives us two pieces of information. The fourth term is 108. All right, so a to the n, we can say a to the n is 108, equals our first term times our r, which is 3 and that's raised to the n minus 1. Now our fourth term we know is 108. So since we're plugging in 108 here, we're going to put in the 4 here. So it's going to be 108. We're trying to find our first term right now. And then it's going to be 3, 4 minus 1 is to the third power. So we're going to have 108 equals 3 cubed is 27. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 27. So a is going to equal 4. All right, now to write an explicit function, basically meaning just a function from this right here. So we're going to have, instead of a to the n, it told us to use f of n. So we put f of n equals our first term is 4 times r in this case is 3, that was given information as well. And then to the, since we're using n, n minus 1. So that would be our explicit function.